aimed towards heterosexual cisgender people. And we were thinking that a queer prom would help non-cisgender, non-heterosexual youth finally be able to like get out and be themselves, and not be judged, just like go all out, go crazy, yeah. Um, especially here in Detroit and Southwest Detroit because a few other youths thought there wasn't a lot of safe queer, queer places for youth here and we wanted to create a nice environment where we can like plan events like these and have nice conversations with each other and just be queer with each other. So. <laughs> hey everyone, we're Congress of Communities. We're an organization here in Southwest Detroit. We work together to create a safe, caring, and engaging community. We do this with the help of community leaders, parents, and you. Here in Congress of Communities, we created Lavender Society. Lavender Society is a club that was created by us youth to create a safe space for queer people that focuses on black and brown folks here in Southwest Detroit. Spaces like Lavender Society are important for queer youth because it allows them a space where they can be open about their identity and their about their gender identity and their sexuality. Um, <laughs> while still being allowed to be youth, a lot of queer spaces are centered around adults and that might not be the safest place for youth. So having a space exclusively for queer youth to be able to like make friends and um, have important conversations is really beneficial. So what roles do adults play in the Lavender Society? At Queer Prom, we were volunteers, chaperones, mentors, we donated food and helped raise funds, and we provided free haircuts and makeup for the attendees. Queer Prom was a really important event for youth because a lot of them don't have the chance to be open at their own prom or might not feel comfortable being open. So having that space that is one outside of school, um, but also just allows them to feel completely comfortable around other people that understand them, um, makes it like a really important and beneficial space. <laughs> After a successful first queer prom, we're now looking into planning queer prom 2023 along with other events and fundraising opportunities. We're currently working on bringing more youth onto the club and possibly partnering with more organizations. Any new incoming youth will have the opportunity to be a part of the planning process and learn new skills with community organizing and event planning. Already having the checklist and materials of resources from the last queer prom in August, the Lavender Society will be able to more efficiently work on the next queer prom and make sure that all future events are better than the last.